cost of energy and the power of the companies which provide it. It is indeed a hot political topic, but how do you get the better of them? Increasingly, individuals and communities are doing it by taking them on at their own game, generating their own electricity. Mm, could be hard work. Sounds like a good idea, doesn't it? But how does it work? Our environment correspondent, Judy Hobson, has been taking a look at plans for a mini hydroelectric plant in Lancashire. This is Worley Weir on the River Calder, a local beauty spot which could soon be providing power for a hundred homes. The plans are to install a turbine like this, an Archimedean screw. The power will be fed into the national grid. It provides renewable energy. Uh, after the initial cost, it's virtually costless. It just runs itself, so we're relying on nature to provide us with power. It'll cost three quarters of a million pounds, but almost half of that has already been raised by local investors. The minimum amount is 250 pounds, the maximum 20,000. And here's how it works. If, for example, you were to invest 10,000 pounds, you'd receive a tax break of 3,000. That's 30%. Once the scheme is established, a dividend of 300 to 500 pounds will be paid every year. Money which you can put towards your own energy bills and extra profits go back to the community. So who's invested? We've had five donations of £20,000. We've had about 80 down below £1,000. So it's a, it's, it's a big variety of people. We're aiming to make it as community focused as we possibly can. A mat of leaves about three foot deep. In Marple, near Stockport, a community hydro project has been running for a year, providing enough energy for 60 homes. Well, it's been a tremendous success and if the weather had been good to us, in other words, we'd had a bit more rain this summer, uh, we would have been bang on target and we've been very successful in that we've been able to pay back all our loans on schedule. Back in Worley, not everyone is happy. Some think the beauty spot will be spoilt and question the amount the community will benefit. Others think it's necessary to invest in green energy. Judy Hobson, BBC Northwest Tonight, Worley. That's great if you can do it, isn't it? Communities finding their own Fantastic, energy. Yeah. Well, now we're going to go to a story that I.